on web soup, people get injured, and commercials get suggestive. The Wonder Bonus. Plus animals. Horrible, horrible animals. And the greatest web video ever this week. All right here on Web Soup. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Web Soup. I'm Chris Hardwick, and I'll be your tour guide for the next half hour as we delve deep into the world of internet videos. And you're probably there sitting here saying to yourself, but Chris, I already have a computer. Why do I need this show? And I'll be like, that's a terrible voice. Well, it is a big World Wide Web out there. So if you give us the responsibility, we will shove the best the internet has to offer directly in front of your poor, unsuspecting eyeballs. So let's kick things off with some of the week's most contagious viral videos. This is The Big Upload. <laughs> that was the opposite of awesome. Now, we all enjoy a good prank. The classic water pail balance on top of a door, or the venerable saran wrap on the toilet seat, or even this old standby, the let's make our sleeping friend think we're about to be involved in a horrific car crash gag. <laughs> break this down for you. See, the prank works because for a few seconds his friends convinced him that his life was coming to an abrupt end. Hilarious! Oh my god! Oh, he thought he was gonna die! But you know, I don't think we can fully grasp that man's horror unless we look at it again in slow-mo! <laughs> Ah, hometowns. People love them. They become attached to the places where they grew up. Sometimes a little too attached. Here's a guy getting all worked up over the closing of a library. Well, I grew up here. I live here. And I just played football here. And I just don't... I can't believe anybody's going to close this damn thing down. And I'm a carpenter. I, I could... Uh, it's got you that upset. Oh, uh, yeah? What are you kidding me? Oh, it's like stupid. Why would hell, why would they shut down this library? Next on a very special in the heat of the night. <laughs> sure, you think he's all upset now. Wait till somebody tells him what happened to his favorite Circuit City location. <laughs> I can't believe they closed this place down. I was just, I just, I was just here. <laughs> what am I gonna get my RCA cables in? DVD copy of Baby Geniuses! <laughs> I'm sure most of you know what the acronym LARP stands for, but for the uninitiated, or the properly socialized, LARP stands for Live Action Role Playing. And it's a way for the D&D crowd to move their nerdiness outside. So check out this next guy as he wields the most fearsome weapon in the entire LARP arsenal, or LARPsenal, and in the process, creates an internet catchphrase that will echo in your brain for days to come. Now it's time for the final battle. Magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. I'm out of mana. Magic missile video. Magic missile video. Oh, I'm out of footage. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you watch that video too many times, your virginity will grow back. <laughs> but really, I've actually never even seen a druid wield a Roman candle with such skill before. Huzzah to you, sir, I say, wherever you are in Wizardland. <laughs> Wizardland. Population that guy. Uh, <laughs> big network news is for suckers. If you really want to be entertained, you need to check out the completely unprofessional world of local news. <laughs> so dynamic! 
As our next viral proves, the stress of working the local news beat can often be too much to bear. Sometimes, amidst the tension of breaking story, you find yourself lashing out at those closest to you, namely, the co-worker you've always despised. Respect to you, Jim. Holly, uh, don't let her go away. This, uh, that, that's, uh, what, does she have a response to that? Is she still there? What's that? Did, did the lady just leave? Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. I should, should have kept uh, that discussion. She's back if you want her. Yes. She heard you. Yes. What would you like to know? I would like to know a response to what the gentleman said. The gentleman's a very effective spokesperson for the, for the company, but uh, obviously the people who live there are not satisfied with his explanation. Right. So what do you want now? Well, if I have to teach you how to be a reporter, Ollie, I'll do that later. Well, why don't you do that later, Jim? Uh, I think the lady expressed herself, and uh, you're not here, you're there. Would, is there any question you'd like me to ask her? And no, I, I, I'll, I'll give you lessons on how to become a reporter later. Well, I'll on. give you some lessons on how to be an editor, because I was your boss once. Yeah, you were, and are no longer. How did that happen? All right, we'll be right back after Chris, this. Chris, wait a minute. What? Chris, don't let that clip go away without a snarky comment. <laughs> what? That clip was loaded with comedic material. You don't even scratch the surface, dude. Well, uh, I could bring it back up if you want. Yes, what do you think okay. I'm asking for? All right, I'll, I'll cue it up. What do you want me to say? What? If I have to teach you how to be a basic cable clip show host, I'll do that later. Yeah, yeah, why don't you tell me how to do that later, Joel? I used to host Singled Out back when you were still bouncing around in your underoos. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You used to host Singled Out and are no longer. How did that happen? That's right, no answer to that. Just go to the T's. Fine, I will go to the tease. Go to the tease. I'm teasing. Do it. I've already teased. No, you haven't. Tease. Go. Oh, we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When Web Soup returns, we visit the world's sexiest barbecue joint. Mr. Spring's Barbecue Tinder. And is that a new product in your pocket? The Wonder Boner. Hey. You guys came back. And welcome you back to Web Soup. Yes, we've got the most insane internet videos in existence, presented as they were truly meant to be seen on your television. <laughs> the web was always intended to be an open forum where anyone with a webcam can say whatever they want. This next segment shows why that was not the greatest idea. <laughs> I was totally just going to say, you know what this show needs? A delusional rapper bragging about how he went to high school with Kanye West. I give you Riff Raff. I heard you uh, went to school with uh, Kanye West. Yeah, I went to school with Kanye. It's some crazy s***, cuz. What, uh, what happened? Let me know okay, what went down. Okay, it was like 10th and 11th grade. We was chilling like every day. We was cool. We was hooping, you know what I'm saying? We, okay. We were selling some little things, you know what I'm saying? We was cool like every day. Yeah. And then like after 11th grade, he just like just really disappeared off the scene, like he just stopped answering his phone, he changed his phone number and <laughs> That ass is hungry for some underwear. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh sure, it's a non-traditional way of conducting an interview, but wouldn't it be refreshing if more people took after the example of Mr. Raff? It's smart enough to recognize now that it logs me off. Then, wow, was that Melinda Gates? <laughs> Shorty's got back. That was Macrosoft. Damn! What? I took the word in. Oh, snap it! Okay. Some of the things we find on the internet are truly amazing. Others are truly terrifying. But there are some videos for which we can only say. That's not sleep. Uh, the Japanese are great at many things. Electronics, tentacle porn, vending machines that sell used underpants. But above all else, they know how to make strange exercise videos. On second thought, I wish the Japanese would just stick to inventing robots I can have sex with. <laughs> Say, do you like odd local commercials? Well, you person are in luck, because the internet is a dependable archive of every questionable advertising tactic known to man. This hurts. <laughs> this is Operators Are Standing By. Hello,
This next video is either a commercial for Mr. Spriggs Barbecue or one of Color Me Bad's less successful singles. Give me some of that mm -mm good meatballs off the bone. Baby, I'm hungry. I said, baby, you hungry. Let's head to Mr. Spriggs and get us some ribs. 1017 South Air Depot. I need that S P R I G G S C. Mr. Spriggs Barbecue. Tender. Mr. Spriggs. Wow, thanks to that slow jam, I don't know if I'm supposed to eat a rack of ribs or make sweet, sweet love to them. Oh, damn, ribs. You looking mighty fine down there on that plate. I think I might have an opening for you to fill. Calm down. I'm talking about an accounting. After I f*** them. These are trying times, and the biggest concern for the average working American is automotive shoulder strap comfort. Thankfully, one product is here to help. The Tiddy Bear. That's T-I-D-D-Y Bear. The cute little guy that eliminates all those irritating shoulder strap problems. Place it here, or here, or anywhere you need. Wow! It's an adorable boob caddy. <laughs> and for all you gals who are a little less endowed, we proudly present... The Itty Bitty Titty Bear! <laughs> and for you fellas, it's the Nutty Squirrel! <laughs> that guy's not even in a car, what's that? <laughs> You're supposed to protect him from life? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> but for those of you who prefer your suggestively named products a little less subtle, I give you this! Just wait till you see what I've got. It's the Wonder Boner. <laughs> Now, now, settle down, class. This is an actual product. It's a fish deboning tool, and they're handling this in the most professional way they know how. The Wonder Boner. My wife would like that. <laughs> I'm not married. I'm sad and alone. <laughs> Warning. If your Wonder Boner lasts longer than four hours, please consult a physician. Side effects may include handlebar mustache and fatness. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Next on Web Soup, a little something for all you fans of head trauma. And later, things you can't unsee. The internet. If you're using it to communicate, shop, and gather information, then you're doing it all wrong. That's why we're proud to introduce Web Soup, the finest internet videos the way they were meant to be seen on your television. Web Soup, hosted by Chris Hardwick, all new Sunday at 9, only on G4. Hardwick and welcome back to Web Soup. Say, we collect the best web videos and forward them along to you. So sort of like the television equivalent of the guy who sits across you from work, only you don't have to listen to us drone on and on about that summer during college and we followed fish around. <laughs> it was awesome. I ate sausages out of a trunk. Shut up. I get it. <laughs> now, want to see some life-affirming footage of people overcoming obstacles and triumphing over insurmountable odds? Of course you don't. It's time for This Week in Fail. An instant favorite. <laughs> First up is Scarlett, who fired up the video camera to showcase her singing skills. Oh, I can't help but sing. No, I can't help but sing. <laughs> okay, Scarlett, we understand you want to heighten the drama of your performance by doing what so many other singers have done before you climbing on top of a rickety coffee table. <laughs> Just don't get too close to the edge! Maybe we can't be together Never <laughs> Ah, Scarlet. Lovely singing voice, terrible equilibrium. <laughs> and after seeing that video, it's a wonder Scarlet didn't break any ribs. Give me some of that Oh! <laughs> Not you, sexy ribs! Oh. I'm gonna get all up in your sauce! And if you're still in the mood for sexy ladies, you can check out the premiere of G4's The International Sexy Ladies Show. G4 scoured the globe for the hottest, most outrageous videos you've never seen. It's amazing what other countries call TV. 
G4's The International Sexy Lady Show premieres next. Surprise promo! <laughs> Here's amateur stuntman and professional, why the hell did he just do that guy, Mike Gaboff, or as he's sometimes known, Crazy Mike Gaboff, or as he is about to be known, Almost Died Mike Gaboff. <laughs> Adding insult to injury, that vending machine took his dollar. <laughs> we'll be right back. Coming up on Web Soup, we'll attempt to scar you for life. Plus, the greatest web video ever this week. Welcome back to Web Soup. Well, my good friends, we are nearing the end, both the end of the show and judging by this next collection of virals, the end of all humanity as we know it. <laughs> now, normally these videos hide in dark corners of the World Wide Web where we've dragged them into the spotlight and they're like, <laughs> and we're like, there you are. Uh, here now are things you can't unsee. We've already seen many instances of shameless humans, but you know who else doesn't have any dignity? You guessed it, turtles! <laughs> hey, whatever, if you ask me, that boot was asking for it, yeah! Laces all hanging out akimbo. <laughs> and uh, I'm not saying that footage of a turtle dry humping a boot isn't romantic. I just feel like it, it, feels like it just needs a little something more. I don't know, just something to... <laughs> that took a lot more pixels to cover that up than I would have loved. Yeah, Mr. Spriggs, smoky barbecue flavor and baby turtle making music. <laughs> yes, the boot got pregnant and had baby turtles. All right. Uh, have you guys ever heard of Two Girls, One Cup? Whoa. Yes, that is the appropriate reaction, or as I like to call it, Two G's, One C, a top! <laughs> well, now there's a zoo version, Two Elephants, One Trunk. <laughs> Give me some of that. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, come on. I think we'll all agree that's horrible. But in all fairness, we have no idea what that other elephant ate. It might have been something delicious. <laughs> and just like two girls, one cup, that clip, of course, has spawned a series of reaction videos. Well, after that survey of all that is not right, I think it's time for a little palate cleanser. I think everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. You know, every so often a web video breaks away from the pack, standing out amidst a sea of chocolate rains and peanut butter jelly times. And for videos like that, we reserve a special honor. This is the greatest web video ever this week. <laughs> Musician Dennis Madalone truly loves our country and all that it represents. And that's why he's created the low-budget inspirational music video, America, We Stand As One. <laughs> that 
That's what our national anthem would sound like if Francis Scott Keys huffed paint in a customized van. <laughs> but really, that video says it all. We're web soup, and we stand as one. I felt the love, I breathed the air, I touched the rain, I wiped the tear, I saw the moon. soon begin I had to go but it's okay you see I'm with you in a different way <laughs> USA 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 that's it for our show oh I couldn't fit into the thing damn it I'm no good. Well, if you've got a hilarious viral video that's been burning a hole in your pocket, send it to us at websoup at g4tv.com. And remember, you can catch a new episode of Web Soup every Sunday at 9. Also, we're on the Twitter as at Web Soup. I am personally on the Twitter as at Nerdist. So come by and follow us, and we'll say things, and you'll be like, hey, right now it's the premiere of the International Sexy Ladies Show. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.